Pam, 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 pam. And so, ladies and gentlemen, today, we have three of the greatest killer strong basketball players today. We will show you our master class hope. Everyone will be surprised by our game. Come on, Harry One, shut your mouth. Trumpy, please don't embarrass yourself in this game. I'm begging you. Shut your mouth. I forgot how to play basketball. Especially, I don't play on a joystick. I play on a keyboard, so I'm not looking for an easy way out. Okay, okay. Angry and older Harry homo drill. We're going to play on the keyboard, too, just to be fair. So, guys, who's the basketball champ among us? I could promise faster than anyone in the campaign. Oh, come on, Donald. You don't even know what the ball is called. What do you mean? It's called the Trump ball, the best ball in the world. Yeah, and it seems like it can even fly into the hoop by itself, right? I bet on my team. I've got experience. I'm a basketball player at heart. I've got experience, too. I played basketball even before becoming president. Your move, guys. All right, Donald, but remember, in basketball, it's not just about promises, but real results on the court. All right, let's settle this on the virtual court Wii Sports Resort. How do you even shoot on this thing? Is there a button for that? Come on, Joe. It's like handling a country. You should know this. Guys, you might want to switch to the motion controls. It's not the Oval Office, but it'll do. Motion controls? I've got this. A little to the left, a little to the right. Why isn't it working? This keyboard must be rigged. I had a better score in real life. You guys need to loosen up. It's all about finesse, not keyboard bashing. I knew I should have stuck to playing Scrabble. Maybe I can sign an executive order for a better gaming experience. Save that for the press conference, Donald. In the meantime, Let's see if you can at least hit the virtual hoop. What is this, rigged software? I've got the best virtual moves, believe me. Don, you're struggling more than a trade deal negotiation. Maybe you should have stuck to golf. Golf? I heard you spent more time on the golf course than in the situation room. Well, at least I didn't fall asleep during briefings. Oh, the art of the deal, huh? More like the art of the snooze. Easy, Joe. Don, you should have hired a virtual coach. Maybe then you'd have a chance. Maybe I'll just tweet about how rigged this game is. Fake scores, fake news. There he goes with the tweets again. Somebody get him a Twitter timeout. Looks like the only thing you're winning at, Don, is the virtual whining competition. Well, I've got a real trophy room, not a virtual one. Let's see you beat that. Don, your trophy room is like your tax returns. We're still waiting to see it. Maybe I should have built a virtual wall around this hoop. Keep those points out. Don, your walls have more holes than your tax returns. Speaking of taxes, I heard even the IRS can't find your high scores. Well, at least I'm not hiding in a virtual basement. Oh, you mean the one where I'm winning in the polls? It's not just for the game, Don. Don, maybe you should have focused on the game instead of trying to trademark Trump ball. This would be easier with a Sharpie. I could draw the ball right into the hoop. The only thing sharper than your tweets is the point of that virtual ball hitting the ground. Hey. Look at my score. It's higher than your approval ratings, Donald. Big talk from a guy who left me with this mess. I'll fix it. Just wait for my high score comeback. I've been waiting for your comeback longer than for your health care plan. Good luck with both, Don. You know, guys, my hands are the biggest, even in the virtual world. Big hands, small buttons, Don. That explains your high score. I thought you were known for deals, not steals, Donald. Say what you want, but these hands have signed more bills than any of you. Yeah, and tweeted more than a teenager. Signed bills or signed bankruptcies, Don? Well, at least I don't need a teleprompter to show off my hand strength. Teleprompter or not, I bet my handshake is stronger than yours any day. Let's settle this like leaders. Arm wrestling competition, right here, right now. Fine, but I warn you, I've got a grip that even the stock market can't escape. We'll see about that, Don. Get ready for the Biden handshake. It's been tested in Senate hearings. All right, enough talk. On three? One, two, three. These virtual muscles aren't as bigly as the real deal, but I'm still winning. Don, you're like a virtual paper tiger. All show, no grip. Looks like someone needs a handout in this competition. Joe, I've dealt with tougher opponents than you. Your grip is about as firm as your border control plan. At least I don't need to build walls to prove my strength, Don. All right, break it up, you two. Let's not turn this into a virtual boxing ring. Barry, you're just upset you're not part of the strongest handshake club. Don, I've been shaking hands since before you knew how to spell real estate. Don't let the handshake distract you from the game, gentlemen. The only thing weaker than Trump's grip is his Wi-Fi signal.
My Wi-Fi is tremendous, just like my handshake. Maybe you should ask Melania. Well, at least my Wi-Fi plan doesn't involve Sharpies and tweets. Forget about these virtual muscles. Let's talk basketball again. It'd school you both on the court any day. Don, the only court you're comfortable on is a golf course. Joe's got a point there. I've seen you on the court, and your dribbling looks more like a leaky faucet. Well, maybe I'll start a new league, the Trump Basketball Association. I'll be the MVP. MVP? More like most valuable pranker. Your three-pointers would probably end up in the opponent's basket. Don't forget the signature move, the executive slam dunk, where you declare a state of emergency just to score a point. You guys are just jealous of my basketball prowess. I'd be a legend on the court. Yeah, a legend in your own mind. I bet your free throws are as accurate as your tax returns. I've heard you're a master at trumping up scores, but let's settle it. A virtual one-on-one -on -one match, winner takes all. You're on, Obama, but get ready for the art of the deal on the court. It's gonna be tremendous. All right, let's get serious about this basketball showdown. I've got some tremendous life hacks up my sleeve. Life hacks, Don? Please enlighten us with your vast wisdom on the court. I can hardly contain my excitement. Lay it on us, Trump. First life hack, always wear your own branded basketball shoes. The opponents will be too distracted by the Trump logo to focus on the game. That's not a life hack, that's just shameless self-promotion. Joe's right. Real life hack, practice your free throws, Don. It's called fundamentals. Free throws are for losers. Here's a real hack. Hire a personal cheerleading squad to distract the opponents. Works every time. Or maybe you could hire someone to play for you while you tweet about how great you are. Let's talk defense, Don. A good life hack is to actually play defense instead of relying on distractions. My defense is like a wall, impenetrable. Life hack, build a wall around the hoop and you'll never get scored on. Yeah, because that worked so well for your border wall. Speaking of walls, Don, your knowledge of basketball strategy is like your construction projects. Shaky at best. Fine, let's hear your life hacks, smart guys. Well, for one, practice the pick and roll until it's second nature. It's the bread and butter of a winning team. And remember, teamwork trumps showmanship. A well-coordinated team can outplay any individual player. Teamwork is overrated. The Trump way is all about the solo performance. The Trump way, where team is just a three-letter word. Don't worry. We'll show you the real meaning of teamwork on the virtual court. Get ready for a lesson, Don. Teamwork, shmeamwork. I don't need a team. It's all about the art of the deal, baby. Yeah, the art of the deal is missing shots and blaming it on everyone else. Don, your idea of teamwork is tweeting about how great you are while everyone else does the work. Well, my life hack number three is to always have a distracting hairstyle. The opponents won't know whether to guard me or my hair. Don, your hair is a distraction, but not in the way you think. Life hack number four, focus on strategy, not distractions. A well thought out play is better than a distracting sideshow. Oh, great strategy, Obama. Maybe I'll write a book about it. The audacity of a missed dunk. Don't forget the Nobel Prize for the best slam dunk that never happened. Life hack number five, never reveal your true game plan. Keep the opponents guessing. Don, your game plan is about as mysterious as your tax returns. And your secrets are as well kept as your hotel guest lists. Whatever, guys. Let's just get to the game. I'll show you the Trump slam dunk. It's going to be legendary. We'll believe it when we see it, Don. Get ready for some real basketball, not just tweets and distractions. Life hack number six, always have a backup wig in case your first one gets blocked. It's the secret to a winning hairstyle. Don, your hair has more airtime than your basketball skills. Maybe you should try a dunk with the wig for extra style points. Life hack number seven, practice your jump shot, not your jump to conclusions. It's a common mistake, Don. Oh, how enlightening, Obama. I'll add it to my list of things I'll never do. Don, life hack number eight. Choose your teammates wisely. They should be able to shoot hoops, not just shoot from the hip on Twitter. And life hack number nine. A good warm-up is essential. Not just for the game, but for those early morning tweets. My tweets are like morning coffee. Everyone needs them to start the day right. More like morning chaos. Life hack number ten. Embrace defeat gracefully, Don. It builds character. Wise words, Joe. Don, you should try it sometime. 
It's a lot better than blaming the virtual referees. Life hack number 11, never take advice from losers. Well, Don, I guess that means we won't be taking your advice anytime soon. Get ready for the game, Don. We'll show you what real teamwork looks like. No wigs or distractions, just pure skill. We'll see about that. The Trump slam dunk is coming your way and you won't know what hit you. Life hack number 12, always have a signature move. Mine is the Kafif crossover. It confuses the opponents and leaves them wondering what just happened. Don, the only thing your Kafif crossover confuses is the English language. Life hack number 13, focus on actual skills, not alternative facts. Oh, very funny, Obama. Life hack number 14. Use distraction techniques during free throws. I call it the Twitter timeout. Yeah, because missing shots isn't distracting enough. Life hack number 15. Practice shooting, not tweeting. And life hack number 16. Humility is key. Don, you should try it sometime. Humility is overrated. I prefer winning and I always win. Don, you're like a basketball version of Monopoly. Everyone knows it's just a game, but you take it way too seriously. Life hack number 17. Learn to laugh at yourself, Don. It's good for the soul. I'll laugh when I'm standing on the virtual podium with the gold medal. Gold medal? Don, you're more likely to win a medal in tweeting. All right, enough talk. Let's hit the virtual court and see who's got the real skills. I'll even let you use the Cove Thief crossover, Don. Get ready for the Trump slam dunk, Obama. It's going to be tremendous.